Hi everyone. This has been a, a tough week and I know that our campus is reeling from the loss of two of our friends and colleagues. Uh, first we had the sudden passing of uh, Kim Warner from our International Center and then uh, the other night um, the tragic plane crash that took the life of John Hauser. And as sadness envelops the university and as we all wrestle with uh, the sudden loss of life, um, last night um, at the Memorial Union and then at the Delta Tau Delta House, I saw some absolutely stunning examples of campus unity and support for one another. And last night at the Memorial Union, probably 300 or so people gathered uh, to to uh, share in the loss and to um, comfort each other uh, in the wake of John's passing. And uh, there, uh, members of, of the faculty and staff and uh, counselors from our University Counseling Center were there to provide much needed support and comfort uh, to the members of the campus community. And we had folks from the Delta Tau Delta fraternity, we had aviation students, and we had uh, people who just happened to know uh, John uh, through his interactions on campus. And it was just a really nice opportunity to, to share and, uh, and to be together. And then following that, there was uh, a ceremony hosted by the Delta Tau Delta Brothers um, over at the uh, intersection of University and Columbia. And there, I kid you not, there was, uh, by my estimate, uh, probably between 500 and, six, 500 and 600 people gathered on the front yard uh, to honor John and to remember his life and the impact that he had on the members of, of the campus. And so it was a, a, a fitting ceremony and a, a very heartfelt uh, a set of speakers who shared their memories of John. And uh, it was an example of how we at UND, I think, uh, come together uh, and typify what a great university can do in these times of need. And uh, as we struggle with loss, let me remind each of you that there, there are resources available to you currently um, that you can take advantage of when you feel uh, that you're at a point where you need to speak with someone. Uh, we have University uh, Counseling Center, we have CVIC at UND, uh, which uh, provides incredible support uh, for um, those suffering all forms of trauma. And, uh, and for our employees, we have our great employee assistance program. Let me just remind you of those. And there were some rumors floating around uh, the internet uh, yesterday and the day before about uh, the lack of counseling services on campus. And let me just let you know that the UCC is open, available, and they have capacity to handle. If we were ever to run out of capacity to support your needs, we would make sure that as a university, we find a way to provide uh, exactly what you need. Um, so you have my assurance that uh, we'll, we'll make sure those services are available. And then finally, um, let me just remind you that you have one another as well. And I think this is the time where friends look out for friends and colleagues look out for one another as well. And to make sure that as, as we see our friends and colleagues struggling, that we lend a helping hand and we help them cross over that, that difficult path and to make sure they get the support services and the love and support that they so richly deserve. So let's uh, look out for one another and uh, we'll get through this together.